Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton, and if you follow my channel, you know that I absolutely love Gravity Forms. I've done a lot of tutorials on that plugin over the years. Even though it's a premium plugin, it's worth every dollar. It's pretty phenomenal. Well, today I want to talk about an add-on that you can get for Gravity Forms. It's another premium solution. You add on to it, and it increases your conversion by showing your visitors that there's activity going on on your website. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to introduce you to Gravity Proof. So this is the plugin I'm talking about. Um, it's, it actually shows social proof, what we call social proof. Notice down here on the left hand side as I'm scrolling down the page. It's going to pop up and kind of let me know things that have been happening on the website, things that have been happening on my forms to just show other people as they're perusing all your different pages, your blog articles, or your products that people are interested and in doing things. They're taking action on your website, so it'd be really cool if they themselves took action. It just kind of helps give them some validation that other people are engaging with you. So you see down here that says, Hank recently signed up for our newsletter. And you can customize the different alerts that are popping up. You can customize the conversation and it can all pull dynamically showcasing all the different conversion happening on your website. It's a really cool tool. Let me show you how to plug it in and use it. All right, so a couple of things you need to do before you get started in all this. Be absolutely certain that you have a backup in place for your website right now. Stop this video, go push a backup, just so that we know we have a clean version. If anything goes wonky or weird right now as you're trying to go ahead and install Gravity Proof and just test it out, right? Better case scenario is for you to actually have a tinkering or a sandbox website, right, that you can just go and play with. And that's what we're gonna do right now just to test it. But either case, as soon as you're ready to install it in your WordPress website, you're gonna go ahead and need a Gravity Forms uh, license, right? So you'll need to go over and purchase Gravity Forms if you don't already have it. And then you'll need to come here to gravityproof.co and purchase your own version of this license as well. Go to get started and you can do uh, a personal one site license or up to five websites for an annual fee. These prices might change in the future, so I would jump on these lower prices today if you have that opportunity. Once you've got those downloaded, we jump into your dashboard. So over inside your dashboard, now that you have at least Gravity Forms installed already, you'll go over to plugins and click add new. If you haven't done this with Gravity Forms, this is the same process to install Gravity Forms. But I'm gonna go ahead and move forward, clicking upload plugin, go over to choose file, and we're gonna go ahead and install Gravity Proof, because that's the one that we just did uh, right now. So Gravity Proof, and click install. Of course, you want to be uploading that full complete zipped file that you downloaded. Don't unzip it yet, you wanna uh, upload the zipped format. That simple, it's done. Go ahead and click activate plugin. Now you've got to activate the license. So as soon as you uh, purchase that over on Gravity Proof, they also give you a long license code to drop in here. So you'll click activate license, come to this area and drop in your license key and click save. Okay, now that that's done, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up um, the notifications, the social proof to pop up when somebody comes on and pledges to your website, maybe they make a donation, maybe they buy a product. This can actually apply to anything that is captured inside of the Gravity Forms plugin. So as soon as they click submit or schedule or sign up or buy now, whatever they're clicking on Gravity Forms, as soon as that rolls out and is executed, this social proof uh, plugin, this Gravity Proof plugin, can actually engage this little notification that pops up to all your visitors. So this example, I have pledged today. You'll come in here and fill out your name, your email, and whatever amount you'd like to pledge. Monthly, $50. Let's go ahead and do that. 50 bucks. All right, and click Submit. That's your notification. You can set that to whatever you want it to be. Of course, that's handled on Gravity Forms itself. But now what we've done is we've actually captured content on one of our forms that we've set up. So you can go back into your dashboard and underneath your Gravity Forms section over here on your left side, you're gonna see a new little add-on here that says Gravity Social Proof. When you click on that, you get this cool little dashboard. This is where we go to actually set up what those little pop-ups are gonna look like. Click Add Notification. All right, so the very first one, we're gonna go ahead and just give it a title. And this one's gonna be for our pledge, right? 
for let's actually say this is for our monthly pledge because that's what we're you know setting up creating enable notification you can also come in here and turn them off if you don't want these always running but that's a nice little uh, slider for you to, to do click next step so this is where you choose which form if you have a lot of different gravity forms you can come in here and it'll be a little drop box you can choose the exact form that you want to assign this notification to but for now, I only have one form. It's going to be the monthly pledge. It also allows you to do conditional logic in here. So this is really getting powerful. Uh, a lot of variations you can set up in there if you needed to. But for now, for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Let's move on to the next step. Because this is where we get to play around with creating the actual message that pops up in that little alert. So it says somebody... Uh, you know what? I don't want to say somebody. I want to actually put on there that Corey just did this. I want to put the name of the person that just uh, pledged. So let's back that out and check out what you can do. Right down here, it's actually pulling these specific fields from the form that you've already created. So it's already looked at the form that you've assigned to this notification. It's gone into that form and it's pulled all the different fields that were created inside of there and it's listing them here. So I can actually grab this little notification here drop it in there you can click on it if you want to drop it in there that's the name that's the first id right so that's going to say corey just pledged and then watch this monthly pledge amount so it's automatically going to put in there the amount that i just pledged right so cool what if we wanted to say something like corey from texas just pledged a monthly amount especially if you're doing really cool social media advertisements different campaigns to different states you want others to see that from their same state people are donating so we can put in here the first id is the name of course all this is based on your form that you built but look at this little option here it says user location click that little guy grab that if it didn't fall into the right spot because i want it to drop in right here and so i want to say corey from texas just pledged $50 per month. Yeah, next step. Isn't that cool, you guys? Oh, I love this. Next step. All right, so we can put any sort of kind of default animated GIFs in here. These are really cool. You can also upload your own image if you wanted to. One of the other cool things that they've allowed in here is a Google map from user IP. So this could actually show on that map where that person is located as according to their IP address, right? A lot of cool opportunities inside of here. Uh, but for the sake of this, I think it's really cool. Let's just put a little bouncing bell on there. I love that. And go on to next step. So this is where you get to customize just a little bit further. The notification position. Where do you want that little pop-up alert to appear on the screen? You want it on the bottom right or the bottom left? So sometimes if you have a return to top button or a chat box, you don't want everything happening over here on the right bottom side. Maybe you want it on the left. You have an option there. You can allow users to close the notification if it's starting to annoy them. So you can do that and check that on. You can also make the notification clickable. So let's say that you are doing this for products that have sold. So if you have a really cool shirt like this one that says, be a nice human, and you've put up a notice that Corey just purchased be a nice human t-shirt maybe you want that to be clickable over to that product or for this example maybe you want it to be clickable over to the pledge donation form that's where they can go it's totally doable you click on this little option and throw in the url right there allowing that little pop-up to be clickable and then we can also designate where we want it to be displayed so if you want it to be on all pages or certain select pages you can actually come in here and choose all of your different pages uh, from this drop down and and make the choices that you want on there uh, just by clicking on them going again clicking on them own display on these certain pages very cool solution for you um, I want them on all the pages. Go back up to the top and click save. We're gonna go back to the front side of our website and click refresh. And we should start to see in just a couple of seconds that cool little notification. What, what, look what just happened. Corey from San Antonio just pledged $50 per month. Right there, how cool is that? It actually drilled down to my city and showed me that Corey from San Antonio pledged $50. Let's just do another one for the fun of it. Let's say that Stephanie, uh, B and let's just do this Steph at gmail.com 
and she's gonna pledge a hundred bucks because she's super generous and she just pledged that all right let's see what there it is already Stephanie B from San Antonio just pledged a hundred dollars per month isn't that incredible you guys this is so fun and it's gonna allow more and more people to get excited about what's happening behind the scenes of your website nobody knows if their friends or family or other people are purchasing products or have already come to your website and checked out or gone through a pledge process this little social proof lets everybody know what's going on so get creative and think about how you can use this I mean it's really great for anybody if they're signing up to an event and you want people to see that everybody's signing up they're all coming to this event you can set that notification to take place anything you can do inside of gravity forms you can add this little gravity proof plug into how cool is that you guys I'm I'm loving it I think everybody who's using gravity forms should be using this add-on I'm gonna put a link in the description box below so that you can go check it out yourself and for the first 100 people that comment on this video check it out the first hundred people who comment I'm gonna do a giveaway one person is gonna get a year-long license totally for free so we're gonna do that as soon as, as soon as I hit a hundred comments on here I will run a program that just randomly picks one of you to go ahead and I'll alert you as the winner for the free license directly from gravityproof.co themselves all right I hope this has been an awesome tutorial for you I hope you subscribe to my channel so that you find more and more great resources like this and free stuff in 2020 I'm hopefully gonna be giving away a lot of free stuff moving forward so click like subscribe to the channel every Wednesday I'll be right here creating content just for you inside the world of WordPress hope y'all having a great one bye everyone